All right, guys, um, welcome again to the uh, World Class Happiness channel. Um, now, today's message is basically going to be don't judge a book by its cover. All right, and I'm getting that out there straight away just to kind of account for the fact that I'm, I've got a hat on, I've got a hoodie on and, and an old kind of rain jacket and it's raining outside and it's cold. That's the reason why I'm done up a little bit. But if you've clicked on this video and you don't know me and you never heard me speak, um, you may be ready to switch to the next video because I look like a homeless guy. <laughs> I ain't even had a shave. Um, and you might be making a judgment and thinking that I've got little to offer. I'm in my car, you know, I'm not stood up on a stage or anything like that. Like that. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly tell you why um, it's not a good idea to judge a book by its cover. One, because I've done it myself. I've done it myself in all different areas of life and I've done it more than once and regretted it more than once. And um, I put on a video yesterday um, showing my uh, some of the fights from my old judo career. So you'll be able to see just from the video that I was obviously a, a legit martial artist. Um, I fought at a high level in judo. Um, I now coach MMA as well. Um, and I've been in martial arts all my life, okay, over sort of getting on for 40 years now, I've been, uh, been involved with martial arts. Now, martial arts has taught me that very same lesson as well. Um, I've been in um, weigh-in rooms, because in judo we have to weigh in for our category to, to see which weight category we're going to be in. And many a time I've been stood next to some guys who look huge quite frankly look massive got muscles on muscles um and just look like they look like kind of almost like bodybuilders they look scary um and i've been in the i've been in the queue with them and they've stood on the scales and i'm fully expecting them to be a weight category or two weight categories above me and i they stand on the scales and i find that they're in my category and I can't believe it because they look absolute. They look like they look like machines. They look like absolute units. And I, <laughs> I kind of, I get a bit nervous at that point because some of them I will know. Some of them I'll know from previous competitions, and some of them will have reputations and stuff. But sometimes people just turn up and they look absolute. They look the part. They stand on the scales. They look scary, and. My first thought is, oh, I hope I don't get them in the first round or, or any round, to be honest, because they just look like they're a real handful. And chances are I will um, get drawn against them. And there have been many times where I've been drawn against those guys and I fully expected to grip up against them and them just be too strong for me and out, out sort of out strength and out grip me. And... And they haven't, they haven't. Sometimes I haven't, you know, there have been times where they haven't even felt overly strong. There have been times where they felt strong but and then burnt out pretty quick. And I've maybe used my movement and skills and, and been able to kind of just outfight them really in a lot of areas. And they haven't really lived up to um, the way that they looked and, the, and what I thought I was going to be up against. Um, and that's happened a lot. That's happened more than once. And then there's been other times where the opposite has happened. Now, this is really the thing that stands out the most because this is where you can come unstuck. Now, in terms of judo and, and the same sort of situation, I've been in weighing rooms where I've just seen a young looking, you know, I mean, I always looked fairly young and, and never really looked overly intimidating. But there's people who look younger than me and and less intimidating than me um they had skinny little bodies they they kind of didn't look like they look like a puff of wind would almost blow them over and sometimes you do know these guys because they like i say they have a reputation and stuff from previous events but sometimes they don't sometimes these guys just turn up and they don't look anything they really don't look anything and you'll be thinking the, op the opposite you'll be thinking oh i hope i get him <laughs> all right and then what happens is you might get that guy and as soon as you grip up you just think oh my god 
that is like it was almost if you had your eyes shut you'd think the person looked completely different you would think that they are like you know there's some joke going on because they feel a lot stronger than they look and uh, like they should um and you know that and that throws you off that really throws you off and then they rag you around and and they're a real handful and there ain't you know there have been times where i've had them guys and i've pulled myself together and i have then overcome that and beaten them but there have been times where it's completely um destroyed my confidence in some respect and i have been out strengthened and out maneuvered and and out skilled even even by those guys um and it's usually because i've underestimated them okay so i'm saying that partly because i'm wearing a hat and i i haven't even had a shave and and stuff like that and i look like i wouldn't have a lot to offer but in terms of happiness um I've got a lot to offer and, and my life experience in martial arts and in other areas has given me that experience and given me that the knowledge to pass on to you in, in to, to aid you in order to become the happiest um, version of yourselves. So my only message really for for this particular video is literally just never dismiss anyone if i was to walk into an interview dressed like this i would probably be scratched off the list and they'd all, almost be asking for the next person to come in if i was to turn up like this so don't look at me now and and think mm, next video all right you know just maybe go on to some different videos that i've that i've got and look at what i've got to offer um i think i've got something to offer and i think i can teach you a lot about happiness um and that's my message okay and i'll see you on another another video